Hey guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial here on Flushop. My name is Joseph. In today's tutorial, we're gonna stay right here in Capture One and it's because we're gonna deal primarily with color. Um, I, I just wanna quickly run through how powerful the color editor tab is, including the color balance and all sorts of things that you can do with um, the color editor tool in Capture One. So this is not a skin retouching tutorial, we're just dealing with color. So this image hasn't been retouched, it's just so I can demonstrate how powerful the tool is. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Alright, so let's just say um, we have this beautiful shot of the model, right? And the greens look a bit much. We want to have a little bit of a warm or autumn look, you know, to the image and that tends to look really really nice most of the time so we're gonna play around with the color and see how far we can push and pull um, the colors and see how easy it is to also apply um, the look to a series of images from the session so for example there are so many images here these are random selects I mean if I was actually gonna edit these I would have narrowed down to maybe my favorites or whatever like handful of images that she decides to select but for um today's purpose i'm just randomly gonna work on any image and then just apply the filter to the rest of the images as well so i'm um, gonna start off with this particular image and what i'm gonna do is um just gonna open the color editor tab right here and i'm gonna start off with the advanced tab this basic um, where you can select just a, a number of images that a, a number of colors sorry that are present in the image but when you go into advanced you have the um, the chance to select as many colors in the image as possible and that is what we want so i'm going to start off with the advanced i'm going to click on this um, color picker tool and i'm going to start off by selecting this green here currently we can't see what is happening but capture one has been able to select this green that i selected right and it's been able to separate it from the rest of the images so whatever tweaking i do is going to be visible but we want to be sure we've selected the green and nothing more than that and the only way you can be sure of that is by clicking on this um box to view selected color range so when we click on that it's going to desaturate um, any image that has a color which isn't part of the color pick tool right i mean what you selected her skin is more into the orange the dress is black and all those things are not in the color range that i initially selected so i'm happy with that but as you can tell it added a little bit of these yellows and so we're gonna try and pull that out maybe not all of it but we'll try and reduce it as much as possible so i'm gonna click here and then just move this out of the yellows and as you can tell it's graying that area out and so it means that we are limiting um, the threshold of the color that we selected and I think this is fine for now so I'm just gonna uncheck this view selected color range and I'm just gonna move the hue slider towards the left to pull out all of the um, the greens right you can tell it's not all of it that has been um, selected so I'm just gonna use the same tool again and as you notice um, it says I've changed the hue to minus 28.4 saturation remains the same and the lightness remains the same because I didn't adjust those but you can if you want so now that I have the color picker tool again I'm gonna select this I'm gonna target this green right so when I click on it it notices it's created another um, color layer sort of and we can adjust this as well so I'm again gonna select the view select the color range and I'm also gonna well I think the range looks fine maybe I'm just gonna make it just increase it a little bit like so just to increase the range once we're not affecting the yellow and anything in her skin i think we, we're fine i'm still pushing it just to maximize the threshold as well and i'm gonna uncheck the view select the color range and i'm gonna drag the hue again to the left and you can tell it's warming up even more of the colors I'm gonna do it one more time just to be sure we've selected enough of the colors um, the different colors in the image and I'm just gonna click on this right here and it's made another selection I'm gonna leave this as it is maybe just preview again with the view select color range and you can tell it's been able to select all these greens in the image as well I'm gonna uncheck that and again I'm gonna move the hue to the left and as you can see it's moving that and warming it as well 
all right the next thing i'm gonna do is just select this yellow right here which is gonna be a bit tricky because we have that in her skin so again i'm gonna view select the color range as you can tell her skin isn't as gray as before and so i need to push the yellows out and just narrow down to more of the green i just want to move it to a point where um we have it out of her skin like this is fine and i'm just gonna move the hue again i'm just gonna uncheck the view select the color range do i want to keep it yellow or i don't know so i'm just gonna run through the slider and see what it gives me and i'm just gonna move the hue saturation uh, maybe to about I think a monochromatic feel isn't too bad. Um, I kind of like it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm aiming for like subtle autumn and also orange and teal kind of grape. So I notice there's this green teal type of color in the shot, but down here the wall is gray and I need to move that or shift it towards the teal. So I'm gonna select that right now and I'm gonna drag the hue um the hue slider as well just move it around till i find i think at this point it looks a little bit like a teal color and i'm just gonna up the saturation just to make it more visible i think i like i think i like where we are now maybe well we can change the color of black so we'll leave that as is i think i want to even shift this closer to the wall so it looks even so i'm gonna select that next i'm gonna view just to be sure that's the color that i have selected you can tell there's a hint of that color present in here outfits which is fine and i'm gonna just move the hue um to the right increase the lightness of pages to make it lighter and reduce the saturation just a little bit all right so with just a little bit of pushing and pulling we've been able to change this image from this to this now we need to tie everything in and we need to color grade the image just so everything feels nice and natural right so i'm going to close the color editor tab and i'm going to open color balance which is already here and we have the master which is going to grade everything at a go and i don't need that because why would i spend all my time trying to move individual colors just to come and apply one filter sort of thing to the image so even with three way three way gives you the um, a preview where you can see the shadow midtone highlights all in one go and then you can drag them as well so maybe here i can drag just the midtones here i can drag the shadows here i can drag the highlights but we don't need that as well so i'm just going to undo this and we're going to start off here with the split so the shadow gives me a bigger preview of my shadow color adjustment mid-tone the same highlight the same and i can tweak them individually so i'm going to start off with the shadows i want to put in some blues in the shadows so i'm going to click and drag it down like so maybe even more purple right something like that i'm going to go into the mid-tones maybe warm it up a little bit like so go into the highlights what do i want to the highlights maybe let's add some teal to the highlights okay no it's not working and you know you can just you can drag all around and then be previewing the image till you find what works for you and i think i think maybe a little bit of green isn't too bad but not so much of it maybe about this point so i'm just gonna do it before and after i'm gonna hit alt and click the reset adjustment so this is before the color grade this is after the color grade before and after i don't think i like the highlights color so much i'm just gonna move it to the warm tones and I think this is fine. I'm gonna go into the shadow one more time and maybe just darken it, add a little bit more contrast, like so. Go into the highlights, maybe brighten the highlights a little bit. Go into the midtones and darken down the midtones just a little bit. So, with just this few adjustments, let's do it before and after. Before and after. Before 
and after all right i think i like the feel of the image right now and i need to apply this to the rest of the image and then maybe move into photoshop and then start skin retouching and whatever but i like this feel i like this grade everything is nice now it's simple i don't need to create um all the color selections and then go over and you know i make all those minor adjustments capture one has made it so easy all i have to do is just click on this app arrow icon it's gonna copy all the adjustments and when i go into onto the next image in the same setting all i do is click the down arrow and it applies the adjustments i can go again to this top image click the down arrow and it's gonna apply it i'm gonna come all the way down here click the down arrow and it applies the adjustments as well i'm gonna click down here down arrow it applies the adjustments and it makes it so easy and so much fun i mean you can go through a series of images just with the click of a button and there's one other reason why i like capture one so much so again this is a different profile this is landscape this is portrait but i can still press it down arrow and it works click this one as well press it down arrow and we have it so you can tell we've been able to color grade like all these images and make them look uniform and so you can tell from a series all the images can look the same just with push and pull of sliders for one particular image to get a look you like copy the, the adjustments and paste it on the rest of the images if you like this tutorial give it a like a thumbs up subscribe click the bell button so you've been notified of any tutorial that i drop in the future if you want to tell your friends about this channel as well it's gonna help and subscribe if you haven't um share and i will see you in the next one